Bit of a different video today, so uh, I'm going to share a lucid dreaming story which is kind of scary, a little bit creepy actually. Uh, and this is one of my um, least favourite lucid dreams because it's kind of one of the scary ones. Um, so my name's Steph, if you, if you don't know, I teach lucid dreaming and consciousness. Mm -hmm. and one of the things I'm often asked by my students and uh, viewers is, what is your worst lucid dreaming experience? Well, this might not be my worst, but this is certainly one of the scariest and one of the ones that made me really think about what reality truly is. So it starts off, I'm completely lucid, I'm fully aware, and I'm flying around. I typically fly around in my lucid dreams. I use telekinesis, you know, moving objects with your mind uh, to, to basically manipulate and move around the dream scene. So I was doing that, I was flying, everything was going fine, okay? And then suddenly I get to the top of this skyscraper where there's other dream characters there as well. And I know I'm lucid, but for some reason, I can't seem to move them with telekinesis. They try and fight me, and I try and move them away with telekinesis, but they don't move. And suddenly I'm pushed down to the ground on this top of this skyscraper. Someone flies up to me, sort of like in a standoffy way, in the middle of this skyscraper tower, on the top of this skyscraper. They fly up to me and say, this is not your lucid dream. You're not the one here in control of this dream. And I remember thinking very clearly, yes, this is my lucid dream. I'm lucid and I remember going to sleep. I remember doing my reality checks. I even remember taking my, uh, I think at the time I had some lucid dreaming tea. I was very clear and sure that it was my dream, I was lucid and I was in control. Now, I'm not saying that you can always be in control of your lucid dreams, you're more like a sailor as opposed to controlling everything. You're kind of exploring it consciously. That being said, I was very lucid. Uh, if you can even have a scale of lucidity, which you can through the layers of a lucid dream, but it's still hard to define it because there's no clear way of coming out of the dream and saying I was 70% lucid. It's kind of subjective, isn't it? Uh, but I felt at the time like I was lucid, like I was in control. And yet this dream character is there telling me that I'm not in the lucid dream. I'm in somebody else's lucid dream. And at that exact moment, I remember the entire thing changed. The weather started changing. It went from sunny to cloudy. The dream started shaking. And although I knew I was in a dream, I couldn't wake up. I was kind of trapped there. And I suddenly started thinking, hold on a second. Is this real? And I doubted my reality. I doubted whether I was in lucid dream and started to think maybe it could be for real that I was actually there on the skyscraper and I was actually being manipulated by somebody else. I regain lucidity and I fly away. I try and escape this scene because it's kind of creepy. Uh, yet the dream character follows me and we have this aerial kind of chase in the sky across the city. And eventually the dream character, the one chasing me, is kind of this person with like brown middle length hair and a, a beard. Okay, they chase me, they grab me in midair and they pull me at light speed to the middle of a desert. I don't normally share these kind of stories, by the way. I don't know how, I don't know if you like this kind of content. Let me know in the comments, but yeah, this is very different to my normal videos. This is one of my experiences. I have many more, uh, which I can share if you want. So I'm being pulled to this desert kind of space, right? And in the background, I can see a skyline. I can see different skyscrapers. I can see what looks like the Burj Khalifa, the massive building in Dubai, but it's kind of like tilted, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's kind of like curved round like that. And I can see the massive skyline in the distance. And I remember thinking, am I still in a lucid dream? Because I've been chased and, and pulled into the desert by this other dream character that I have no idea what they want. And this dream character looks at me when I'm on the ground on the desert and he says, pulls me in really close and he says, if you keep doing this, they will find you. And I have no idea who, they, who he means by this. And he says, they'll find you and they'll realize that you are interfering with the dream scene, that you're manipulating things here. And at that point, I remember thinking, I, I started doubting what a lucid dream really is. I was thinking, does it really affect other things? Am I in someone else's dream somehow? Now, of course, I still don't know what the situation was. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I even had that dream. And it carries on. So I'm there and then a few other lucid dreamers or dream characters, I don't know if they're lucid dreamers, dream characters come in and they fly down to the desert and now I'm surrounded by this sort of ring of about 10 dream characters and they start saying things like, you don't realise how deep this goes, do you? You don't know what this really is, do you? And they start kind of looking at me as if I'm not quite aware of what's going on, as if I'm just waking up, you know, almost like you would look at a child who just learns to walk. They look at me in a way that says, I just know so little about what's going on. And at that moment, I'm kind of freaked out. I wake up, I'm in my bed, I look around and I'm, my heart's you know, pounding. I reach for my dream journal. And as I reach for the dream journal, as I reach my hand out to my, just my bedside table to grab the journal, my hand is pulled back. And I think, what the hell? I'm awake now, what is going on? My hand is pulled back by some kind of invisible force and I'm suddenly snapped back, I'm pushed against the bed. And I realised, of course, that that was a false awakening, or at least I freaking hope it was. And I'm then brought back into the desert again. And then another dream character says, 
you are not in control here. You have no power over this reality. And then I finally wake up for real. I freak out and uh, I didn't know what to think about that dream. That was insane to me. So yeah, it's a pretty crazy lucid dreaming story. I'd love to hear what you think about this and also your craziest lucid dreaming story. So uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.